y'all. Welcome to the Crafty Diamond. I am Debbie. Today is Massive Project Saturday, where I work on a massive project, and I will talk with you guys like a whip and chat. So if you'd like to get something out to work on, and you can work alongside me. So let's get started. The project that I'm working on today is my Fly Me to the Moon by Josephine Wall, and it's from Diamond Painting Deutschland. And I've been working on this one for a while. I am getting closer to finishing, and I just want to get this one done because I want to start on another one. But last week, I was very productive, and last week I ended up getting about 20 squares done, which was a lot for me for a week. This week, I'm gonna work on this little section here. If I can, I will put over on the right-hand side, maybe the left, a picture of what this looks like or how far I've gotten. It's so large, I can't even get all this on my table, so that's kind of difficult. I also am using these type of trays. You will be able to see them, but I've got four of these spread out, and I'm not spread out as much as I normally am because I have my computer, because on Saturdays, I do like to read comments um, from prior chats from you guys. And so I'm kind of in a small area with a computer and all of my 230 colors. So I'm kind of cramped a little bit. So you may see me moving my hands around to get to colors, but I'm going to be using this pen from Enablers Outpost. I am using this cute tray here from Cat Proof Trays, and this is called the Kitten. It's very small, but it's perfect for this project. I am going to be using glue dots in my single placer, and this really doesn't call for multi-placing. Every once in a while, I can multi-place. I see some points here where I can, and if I do, I am using Patsy Putty in my multi-placer. Um, but I may even just go ahead and just single place. I normally do more than just small squares like this. I'll do four across and four down, but um, because I'm working on the section the way that it is now, I'm just doing these four. I have got this much to do here that I have in release paper, and the rest still has a double-sided adhesive. And I don't know if I'm gonna keep that on there or not. For the most part, I worked on this using the double-sided adhesive, but then as I got towards the bottom, I went ahead and took that off and started using release paper. So um, we'll see how that goes. So let me pick a color and then we're going to get started. This will be a good one. I probably should have filled up my containers. I do have some more that I need to put in here. And before I get started with doing the uh, chats, how are you guys doing? How has your week been? I hope that you have had a good week and you are having a really good weekend if you're watching this when it comes out. It is Friday early morning for me. And I want to get this done this morning so I can get it edited and go ahead and get it uploaded for tomorrow because today is going to be a very busy day. We have a lot going on all day long. We've got something going on. So I wanted to make sure that I had time to do this. We actually are going to be out tonight, which is unusual for us also. So I definitely, I was hoping to get this done even before Friday, but that just didn't happen. Just didn't work out that way, but I hope that all of you are doing well. If you are new, welcome. I am so glad that you found my channel. Hope that you enjoy the chat today. If you're not familiar with what a whip and chat is, that is a work in progress. And I will talk for about an hour and then I will continue working on this one. Probably, I don't think I'll have time today, as I said, but I will be able to work on this some more this weekend. And then I can show you the progress later. I will 
show you progress at the end of the month. I haven't been showing updates on Instagram or my channel on this one in a long time. So maybe I should do that this weekend too to show how much progress I have done. It will be nice when this is finished though. And I have not gotten back to my massive cross stitch conversion, which is what I've been doing on Saturdays. And then just decided I'm gonna do this one so I can get more done of this. That way I can get this finished and then I go back to my cross stitch conversion and maybe spend more time with that one before April, before we start on the Josephine Wall event where I'll be working on another Josephine Wall canvas unless I don't get this one finished by April. And if I don't, then I will carry this one over. It will be part of my Josephine Wall for our event, but you know, we'll see. And I don't know if I can do two large Josephine Walls in one year but this one was over 75% complete when I started in 2024. So it shouldn't be horribly bad to get this one finished, but these are large. Let's see, I was hoping I could do more colors, but of course not. So what are you guys working on? I would love to, to know. I have to take Paige to work this morning, and then when I come home, I have to also work, work from home on Fridays. And then from there, I have a Zoom hangout with the members of my channel today at 12, and we're going to hang out from about 12 to 1 on Zoom and we're going to diamond paint and just have a live for about an hour. And if you're interested in doing something like that, you can also become a member of my channel. You can click on the join button and you wouldn't be able to join us today because it would be too late, but the next one that I have, you will be able um, to join in on that live. And I normally do it just once a month, but last month we had some technical issues. And so I'm going to have two this month, maybe even more, just because my members have been so sweet and kind to me and they've put up with learning curve, with being a member. It's just like Patreon, but it's a member of the channel instead of Patreon. And I'm just wondering if maybe Patreon is better, but I've already started the membership, so I'm gonna see how that goes. But um, just to let you guys know that it is there and that we're going to have that today. So that's from 12 to one, that's Eastern time. And then I have to pick up Paige at work. Then she has to come home and get ready we have Night to Shine tonight, which is a, is a special needs prom. And this will be her, I think, I keep debating if it's 7th or 8th year, but she's been going for a long time. She loves Night to Shine, and she talks about it all year long. So she is really excited about tonight, and we have her dress and she is just all ready to go. I hope that she is really paying attention at work and not too excited about night to shine and not work, but she takes her job very, very seriously. So I don't think that's going to be an issue. At least I hope not. I don't think that will. I think she'll be so busy. They're busy on Friday. She'll be so busy she won't have time to think about it. And then that will be tonight. We won't get home till late. And then tomorrow is supposed to rain all day and I have things I need to do around here. I have some work that I need to do. So it's going to be a fairly low key weekend after tonight, but then today is just going to be crazy. 
just really crazy busy trying to get everything done, get her ready. I want to make sure that I had plenty of time for you guys because I love doing these videos every week. So let's go ahead and go over some of the comments. And I'm a little behind on comments because I haven't been doing them every Saturday. Last Saturday, I just did a whip and chat on this one to get back into it. But I wanna go ahead and start going over some of these comments. And the first one is from Lori and she says, Hi Debbie, I just want you to know I love your videos. You are such a sweet, caring lady. And I really do appreciate that. That is so sweet. And when I read these comments, it just melts my heart. I mean, it really, really does. I'm not just saying that. I love my channel. I love you guys. And it just really makes me happy when I read these to realize that, you know, there are people out there that do listen to my videos. And I know that a lot of people just like to, you know, lurk and they like to work on their diamond paintings or their projects while I am working on mine. And that's perfect. And I don't always, when I am watching Whip and Chats, I don't always comment either. I just pretty much give the creator a like and I'll comment sometimes, but I don't always do it. And sometimes I'm on my um, iPad, which makes it a little more difficult. And then sometimes I'm watching it on my big screen. And so I can't really comment until I'm done. And then I'm just, I just don't. So anyway, I do appreciate all the comments. And I am so thankful for all of you because my channel wouldn't be anything without you guys. There wouldn't be any point in even having a channel, just doing it for myself and talking to myself. The symbol that I'm working on now, it is a, to me, it's a moon. It's really a circle and it's like, a circle that's less than half shaded and then a circle that is kind of crescent shaped and they're about the same color so I have to really kind of have to focus on this one to see to be able to see which one is which when you have a lot of colors like this and you have some really different types of symbols. You have to really think about it. But I've done one already like this, and then I've spent so much time on this one. I've got all these symbols down now. So when I go to my next Josephine Wall from Dime Painting Deutschland, it is going to be a breeze. And I really cannot wait to start on that one. I've been wanting to really go ahead and start kitting it up. And I thought, no, because if I kit that one up, I'm gonna put this one to the side. Then I'm gonna have two huge Josephine walls out and I'm not doing that. Even I'm not that aggressive to do. Um, let's see, let's go to the next comment. I wish I could read and do this, but I just can't. Um, okay, Christina406 says, Hi Debbie, thank you for another wonderful whip and chat. I've um, been playing catch up on whip and chats and miss lives from the past three weeks. Got home from her cruise. Her husband became very sick the day after they got home. Then of course, a week later, and it turned out to be COVID. Um, still recovering, but finally tested negative this past Sunday. So I am so glad that you are feeling better. Um, also says, super excited for the upcoming Paint Gym event. Just got entry posted and Google Doc done. And she hopes my husband is feeling better. Hurt ribs are no fun. Sending good thoughts his way. I'm glad you had a good time on your cruise, but so sorry that you came back sick. And I've heard that a lot of people recently have come back sick from cruises. I've got a friend who went on a cruise and came back and her husband was really sick. And then of course, because her husband was sick, then she came down with it too. So I guess it's one of those things we're going to have to live with to decide, is it worth going anywhere? 
and I still think that it is, but it's really hard when you end up wanting to go on vacation, have a really good time, and then you come back and you're really sick. That's no fun at all. I should have filled this container up some more because I am almost out of these drills. And my husband is doing better. Thank you very much. Um, he is finally turning the corner with his ribs. It's still sore, but not nearly as bad as he has been. It's just taking some time to heal. And he must be better because he's starting to move around and do things more around the house and saying that he wants to get out and work in the garage some on Saturday because it's going to be raining. And if he wasn't feeling good, he would not be able to get out there. So that kind of tells me that he's feeling better. He will never say if he's feeling bad. I can just tell. But with his ribs, I could tell because he actually would kind of moan when he moved a certain way, and he never does that. Let's see. The next one is from Christy Bigelow. says, maybe get a humidifier for your craft room. It has helped her with the static, and she loves a cover reminder I was using, and it's so pretty. And that was a cover reminder. I believe it was the butterfly that I had gotten from Saban. And I love Saban's cover minders. They are different. And I'm not using a cover minder on this one because I don't have any plastic to hold back. But I do miss using my cover minders. I am going to have to refill this one. Um, I'm not gonna do it while we're on here, but I will do this after. I'll just have to remember that this one needs to be filled. For the most part, I was able to get all of my drills or the majority of my drills in this small container, these small containers, but there were some that I couldn't. So I just had them in a plastic bag next to me and then I will fill them up every now and then and I try to go ahead and fill them all up at one time, but I did not on this one, so I need to remember it's the moon, so I'll have to get to another color. And with the humidifier, I was kidding up. Which one was it? I was kidding up Calming Canvas Designs on my channel, and I had so much static, and it wasn't because of the company. It's been that way with all of my drills. Even kits that have been sitting for a very long time and they were actually popping out of my tray. I am going to get a humidifier to put down here in the basement to see if that does help. It sure couldn't hurt. And I have heard that that does um, help. I've not had any problems until lately on the static, on how bad the static has been, but our weather has been so crazy that it doesn't surprise me that I'm having so much static. But thanks for um, the suggestion. I am definitely going to do that. I should have already done it, to be honest, and I did not. So I need to go ahead and invest in a humidifier. They're not very expensive. So I can get one and put it, I may get two, put one in my craft area and put one outside of my craft area and see if that helps with the static in the basement. And we've talked about moving. I've mentioned that on the channel. If we ever move, I don't know if I want to have my craft room in my basement. I have for our past, well, for several years, past 11 years, I guess. And I think if we, if we do move, I'm going to, I'd like to be able to have either a she shed, which my husband says I probably would not like because being outside and 
I don't know, but um, I'm going to see all options when we're looking for a house and decide what I want to do. The one thing that I like about the basement is that it's, you know, out of the way. I don't have to worry about if it's, you know, nice and clean or not. I can just close the door and it's a bigger space. So if I were to have a bedroom, that would be a smaller space and I don't know if I would like that. So I'll just have to figure it out, play that one by ear, but you know, we'll see. There's just a lot, but right now with this house, I have no other place to have my craft room, but in the basement. And I have to say, I do love my craft room. It is one of my favorite spaces in the house. It is all mine, it's cozy, I can just go downstairs. If I don't even wanna craft, I can sit in a cozy chair and read. And so I've done that a lot too, or even watch TV if I want to. And it's just nice to get away down here. You can't really hear a lot that's going on upstairs. So I am, I'm really blessed with that. So I'm not complaining about my craft room. It's just the static is unreal. I am complaining about the static. And if you guys have kitted up and you've had a lot of static, you know, you know the struggle. And sometimes like my tricks that I like to use works and sometimes I don't. It just, it depends on the day, I guess. So the next one is from the Ray 8905, very lovely pen and gorgeous canvas. Can see part of my cover minder. It looks like a pretty jeweled butterfly. And yes, it was. And normally uses both a white pad and an overhead. Makes me a bit paranoid about wandering drills, but that's okay. I'm not sure what the wandering drills is. If that was, um, I'm not sure what that comment was in regards to. But yeah, wandering drills can be um, very paranoid if you, know, if you have several, if you spill your drills and you're afraid you're not going to have enough, then you know that does bother me. If it's just one or two drills, it doesn't really bother me that much to have you know, drills that you know, have fallen. Um, I do try to find my drills wherever possible if I do spill them. I'm really good though about not spilling my drills if I am on my table in my craft room. Now, if I am upstairs and I am working on a small lap desk, I don't do as well there because I will sometimes, I don't really spill the drills, but if I have the the canvas, it's on a lap tray, of course on my lap, and then I'm trying to pour the drills in and out. Sometimes I will miss the container and they go on my lap, but at least it's in my lap and I can pick those out really quick. I have spilled some on the floor. The cat has jumped in my lap without me really noticing that she was going to and my tray went in my lap, but at least it goes in my lap and not on the floor so I can pick it up. But that is very annoying when that does happen. But I do enjoy working on the lap tray. I just have realized that using that lap tray, I do much better if I am doing a square rather than, or sorry, the other way around, back reverse. Um, I am better off doing a round kit than I am a square just because of how I'm placing it in my lap, I guess. But a round is fine. So I do squares down in my, in my craft room typically and then just do rounds upstairs. And so that's been kind of working for me too. But there are some squares that I want to get to and I like to do them upstairs, but I'm just having to deal with not being able to do that. This is not, let's see, here we go. You say it's not as easy doing it this way where I am, the way I am positioned. I'm used to having 
my drills, each container in a specific area. And so I know where all 200 and, is this one 230? He's saying just 230. I think it's 220. The number of drills, um, I know where my drills are. Even though there's a lot of drills, I, I know exactly where they are on my table. Carrie says, oh my goodness, Debbie, how scary about Dave. ER has insane wait times. I'm so glad he felt better and you were able to go home. Hope he's still okay. Wonder if he has bruised ribs. I'll be in touch with you. Sending loves and hugs to you both. And thanks so much, Carrie. And yeah, I couldn't understand why the ER was so crowded. Now, we don't normally go to the ER. I don't know anybody that really does, but, or that has really gone has told me this, but when we got to the ER, they said it was going to be a wait. And I could tell because the ER was crowded. And the longer that we sat there, the more people that kept coming in, they had to have people go into an overflow area to sit and wait before they could even come into the main waiting room, which the place is huge. I don't know how many people were there, but um, they ended up calling a man when my husband decided that he was going to leave. He's like, I feel better. I am not gonna do this. I don't feel like sitting here. I'd rather go home and hurt than just sit in this chair. I'll go to the doctor tomorrow if I need to. And so as he was going and checking himself out, telling them he was leaving, a man was called back there and he was talking to another man that was sitting next to him. And he had been there for seven hours and was just called back. And he said it wasn't nearly as crowded when he got there as it was at that point. And so I thought, I am so glad that my husband's feeling better, that he does not want to sit here because I don't know if I really can sit here that long. And of course, if I had to, I could, I would have, but that is just insane. It's like, if you're feeling really bad and you're going to the ER because you don't feel good, there's a problem that you're concerned about and you're having to sit at the ER seven plus hours, Sounds to me they either need to get more help or, you know, something's going on. And they just renovated and built a new building for this hospital. And the ER was part of the new addition. And so it is upgraded. It's a lot nicer than it was. And they just have so many people. So we decided if we ever have to go to the ER, we're going to a different hospital. And we found another hospital. It's a little bit further than that one, but I think that would be just as well because if you're having to drive a little further or you're having to sit there for hours and hours, I think I would drive a little bit further and not have to sit forever and wait. But yes, he is doing better. And thanks so much for everybody that has been um, messaging me and asking. That is really sweet and kind of all of you. He is definitely doing better. And like my husband in typical fashion for him, he did not miss any work for this. Even when he went to the ER and we got home really late, he still went to work the next day. He has plenty of sick days. He just will not take them unless he is basically forced to. And so he ended up going to work. And he does um, a lot of physical labor. So I was really worried about him, but he said that, that he knew he didn't have much going on that day, the next day. And so he was okay with it. And the next one is from Melinda. Hand 6341 says, I'll be doing the paint gym event. Won't finish the whole kit because she's taking care of her husband and she's sure she can manage a few of them. And um, she likes to keep larger squares at her kitchen nook table and work on realms on a tray in the living room. She has a craft room kind of, sort of. There's no room to craft in there. And she says, basically, it's the catch-all storage room. And she says, maybe one day, with fingers crossed. I know how that is. My room was getting really crazy. 
And so this summer, I, or last summer, I decided that it was time that I do something for my room. I had way too much stuff. I didn't use a lot of it. And so all summer long last year, I would do small sections in my craft room. I tore my craft room up basically. The whole summer it looked awful. Couldn't find anything, but I was able to purge quite a bit of things that I had for years and years and that I never used. And now I feel so much better about it. I think I can even purge some more on some things that I'm not gonna use, haven't used forever, probably not gonna ever use. And I sold quite a bit, so that was a win-win. And now Paige's office, my youngest has what she calls her office instead of um, an extra room. She could have made it into a mini den upstairs, but no, she didn't want to do that. She wanted an office, I guess like me. And at the time she was going to school, so she still calls it her office. But that's been a catch-all. So I understand the catch-alls. We've got to work on her office. We put all of the Christmas boxes and everything in her office because it's just too cold for my husband to go up into the attic and put everything away. And so now that it's gotten a little bit warmer, now that it's not as windy as it was, he could go up there, but now that he's hurt his ribs, he sure doesn't need to be climbing and he can't carry those heavy boxes. I am scared of heights. I do not like the stairs going up into our attic. So I just let him do it and he is fine doing it for me. I will help him from the bottom of the stairs and help him when he gets up there to hand him boxes or whatever that he needs. But as for me, climbing the stairs and taking care of boxes, that's not gonna happen. Unless it was something I just absolutely had to do, I would get Paige to help me, but it's not a necessity. It can certainly wait until he is feeling better but once that's done, then I need to get in there and clean up some of the other things that we have just put in Paige's office because it looks, it does look kind of rough, but I know what you mean by a catch-all room because that's what we're doing now and it is driving me crazy. I know she's not happy about it, but she doesn't really use that room that much anymore. And it's the best place right now for us to store some things. Okay, Dip in Time says, hello, hello, my beautiful friend, Debbie. You sure have, don't have a dull moment, do you? Hope hubby is feeling better. And she totally agrees with me regarding unboxings and wanting to kit up right away. Gets her into trouble and feeling overwhelmed for not getting kits done while enjoying the image coming to life. And then she says, thinking of you, you do you. And thanks so much, Rhonda. And I know, right? It's like when I, if I unbox, and I fall in love with the kits, and most of them I do, I wanna start on them immediately. Hence why I have 11 whips in my rotation, and those are actually from last year. I'm not counting, well I guess I should be counting my current ones, and if I count my current ones, I have to add three more in there, but I am trying to get those reduced. Slowly but surely, I was hoping that I could get all of my whips done by the end of this year, but if I just get even five of them finished, I will be happy. The goal is to get them finished. That is part of the goal that, some of the goals I made for this year but I am not going to add to those whips except ones that I am working on until they're finished. And I'm not counting those as part of that 11 on my whips. I guess technically I should, but I am not stopping. Once I start a kit, I'm not gonna stop that kit to start on something else and just put it over on my table. That's not the intention. And that's another reason why I am not going to participate in as many events this year. I really want to participate in Mermaids and Magic in March. 
I do have a smaller kit. I think it's also a round, and by March, I will need another round to work on upstairs. So I might do that one, but I'm not going to start any of my larger ones that I would like to for Mermaids and Magic. I have some really cute dragons that I would like to do. And then I also have a few mermaids in my stash that I really would like to do too, but I am holding off on larger ones for now. I'm trying to, trying to use what's in my stash too. That's another thing. I want to reduce my stash, how many that I have. I need to go in and actually count how many that I have. I kind of estimated based on my spreadsheet, um, but I may have a couple that I did not, well, more than a couple, that I did not include on my spreadsheet that I had gotten behind on. So I need to go in and do an actual count. So then that way I will be more accountable. And at the end of the year, I can see how many I purchased and how many that I completed and see if I'm actually doing any good or if I'm just making it worse on my stash. I know last year I purchased more than I completed. But I'm trying to be more intentional with that, but definitely on the, the whips, I'm not gonna keep starting be a serial starter and not get anything done. Let's go to the next one. This is from Craftyish Kristen. Says she just had static in a painting that she was finishing up. She's never had static and already kitted up drills. And same for me. I was really surprised. I even had static in some of these. And I've had this kitted up for over a year. And it didn't have hardly any static on the kit, whenever I was kitting it up, I did. But after I had started, I didn't have any static last year on this kit. And then all of a sudden, I had static. So I thought that was really strange. It's It was very unusual. So I am sorry that you had static on one of yours you already kitted up, but I'm glad that I'm not the only one. I thought, well, something's really wrong really bad if I have static in ones that I hadn't had static in before, because I haven't had that before either. That was something that was totally new to me. And of course, you guys, I would be working on a section with you today where I have about two or three drills, and then I have to change out. This is a lot of confetti in this one. It is a lot of confetti on all of these sections, but not nearly as bad as this one. Let's see, I need to get the one that looks like a, to me it looks like a dumbbell, and that's gonna be under physical. And this one I only have, I don't know why I'm pouring so many drills in a tray when I only need like four. I'm pouring half a tray. And I tend to do that because I'm so used to pouring a lot of drills in with my other kits. And then this one, it's like, nope, why bother? And sometimes I'll just go fish and try to find where, um, or just try to pull one out if I only need one or two. And that's about how this one is. The one that's like little dumbbells. And I poured probably a hundred drills in here. I needed three. Just takes longer to pour them back in. No biggie. Okay, the next one is from, this is from um, Ken Makes. I'm not sure how she does this, but her name is Karen. Um, she loved the Barbie movie. It was funny and had some poignant moments too. Remember when we used to play with our Barbies back in the day? And she says, LOL. And she was, and still is, she's a very, very close friend of mine. We were best friends in sixth grade. 
and we would still play with Barbies in sixth grade. I know that sixth graders now don't think do that, but we did. We would play Barbies and we would have the best time together. And then we would make Shirley Temple drinks after we played Barbie sometimes, which, you know, it's kind of funny. We wanted to be grown up. We still played Barbies, which I thought that was, that's pretty hilarious. But yeah, we played Barbie. She would come over to my house and we would just play with all of our Barbie stuff. And I still haven't seen the Barbie movie. I'm going to. I just, I wasn't, I thought, you know, I'm not really interested in seeing this, but I've heard from a lot of you guys that you really liked it. That it was, you know, very nostalgic. It was good. And so I am going to watch it. My husband will have no desire. I don't think my youngest will understand it. My oldest did see it and she actually liked it. I was really surprised because I didn't think that was her kind of movie. And it's not, but she liked it. And so I thought, well, if she liked it, I probably will. So I am going to watch it. I'm going to just sit back one day, maybe on a weekend might even do it this weekend and watch Barbie. If anything is for you know nostalgia purposes, I'm old, let's face it, I hate to say it. Every day I look in the mirror and I'm thinking, well, I'm getting older and older, when did this happen? <laughs> but it's, you know, it is what it is. I just need to embrace getting older, enjoy all my wrinkles and all my flaws. I earned all of them. Let's see, which color do I need now since I'm changing constantly? The next one is Danielle Pritchard, 6478, says, I think it's a weather because I'm having the same problem with my drills. And yeah, I think so too on the static. Tracy Goodenough says that their weather has also been terrible in the UK. And she also said that um, the wind has really been howling and so it has cause her tendonitis and to get really bad. And I understand that too. It's the weather just affects everything. It affects your body. It affects drills. And I can always tell when it's going to rain. And my husband thinks that I am crazy, but it may be gorgeous out. And so I will tell him, you better take an umbrella. You're going to get wet. And then um, when we first got married, he's like, you're just crazy. I, it's beautiful outside. There is not a cloud in the sky. It's not going to rain. It's not predicted to rain. And so I was just like, okay, we shall see. And so then he would come home drenched. And then, of course, he would say, well, I don't know where that came from. It came out of nowhere. But he never would come out and say, well, yeah, you did say it was going to rain. So now when I say, I think it's going to rain, then he is more prepared than he would have been if he didn't listen to me. And both my daughters are the same way. They can tell a lot of that's arthritis, but they can definitely tell when it's going to rain. So I get it when the weather's so bad and how it just really messes all of us up. A friend of mine has migraines really bad and every time the weather gets really rough, she always has migraines, so now she's gotten to where she prepares and she takes some preventive medication that definitely helps. But it's just, I hate how everybody has to suffer because of crazy weather. And especially this year, the weather's just been really crazy, more so than usual, I think. Molly is outside, and so is my neighbor's dog, and they are barking and playing with each other through the fence. So that's keeping her busy, but I mean, if you hear barking, she's outside all the way across on the other side of our yard, and she's still loud. But it's her and my neighbor's dog, so then we have both of them barking, so it's kind of crazy. But she's not at my feet barking, so she can just stay out there and bark. I'll be so glad when it does get nicer because she is just absolutely miserable. She likes it outside. Um, let's see. Melinda Hand says she had the pleasure not. Um, she's spending the day in the ER with her husband. He ended up in the hospital for a week for a procedure. So it's been sort of cattywonkers and this week catching up on stuff. 
She did see Barbie. She thought it was good, but not good enough to sit through it twice, but it was still fun for the nostalgia. Yeah, I've heard that too, that it's fun the first time, but it's not one of those things that you'd want to see over and over again. And I totally get that. I don't think that I would want to either, even though I haven't seen it yet. I'm just assuming from what I've heard that, you know, once and done kind of thing. Let's see, now I have only one of these. This is the hand. Is it this hand or the other hand? It's this hand. So I'm just going to go in here and go fish and get one color. And you know, I don't know why I enjoy doing these so much. I love doing Diamond Pain Deutschland. They are pricey on the shipping, but if you purchase more than one, which is what I usually do, I can justify the shipping. So when I order, I'll usually order two or three. The shipping is still the same, but I have to save up for these. It's not like just going out and being able to just buy one on a whim. But I really enjoy doing these, but the, and they come out absolutely gorgeous. But I'll tell you what, if you do not like confetti, you will not like this kind of a kit because that's all it is. It's all confetti. And that's why it takes so long to do. And I really enjoy doing this, like I said, and then I get tired of it and I'll put it up. But I worked on this for hours last weekend. I just sat down, I got my audiobook and listened to it and I worked on this all afternoon. And I'll probably do that again this weekend. The next one is from, and I hope that your husband's doing better, Melinda. The next one is from Lena Mahoney. It says, if you haven't watched it yet, only Murders in the Building are really good. Um, they just finished season three. And I've heard that that series is really good. So that is on my list. And I thought I was going to watch that with my husband, but I'm kind of tired of waiting on him I keep asking him, do you want to watch this with me? And then he is watching something else usually. So I think I'll just start watching that one on my own. I'm trying to see what color I need next. Okay, I need lines. Lines is over here. Sorry that I haven't to reach across you guys, but that's where my drills are. The next one is from... Karen Vandermortel says, Dear Debbie, greetings from the Netherlands. Um, she's a new subscriber to my channel. Hope my husband is feeling a lot better during this week. Um, she hopes I can follow her English. It's not native language. Um, also has a border collie named Kiza. I'm 12 years old, but playful as she was a young dog. She hopes that she will stay another couple of years with them. Um, she says I talk about an event I'm hosting. I did not mention, she says in my video, what the event was or when it's going to be. She wants to know, is it possible for me to talk about it? And um, she hopes I have a good week, better weather for your errands and have plans to do. And your English is perfect. It is not a problem. I think it is so cool to be able to have subscribers from all over. And when I worked for a global university, it was an international university that it was United States based, but was not in the US. And it was a new concept. I think they're doing fairly well. I was there for a year and a half and ended up just to, to leaving to do something else. But the one thing that I enjoyed the most out of that school was the fact that I had so many students from all over. And I really liked that part of it because I could learn from them. I learned so many different traditions and it was just so much fun 
to be able to interact. It was a lot of students from Nigeria. I did have a couple from the Netherlands. I had some from Africa. Um, I had some from Taiwan. Um, I had a um, just students from honestly all over Korea. And we were able to, you know, talk to each other and we would have actual live meetings. And some of them were a little hard for me to understand, but once I got to where I understood their dialect, I did not have a problem at all. And I just enjoy that. And I guess that's why I have majored in international business and I just really enjoy getting to know and to learn all about the different cultures. That is just something I've always enjoyed. So definitely think it is really fun and I don't have any problems with um, in anyone's English. You know, as long as it's in English and it's not in a different language, then I'm okay. I can also get a translator um, program that I do have on my computer because of working there. And so I can also do it that way. So thanks so much um, for subscribing and um, for your comments. And, let's, and I also had already mentioned about the event, but I am hosting an event currently and it's not too late to join. It is a paint gym event. You would need to work on a paint gym set you do not have to complete the entire set, but you need to complete at least two of the canvases that are in a set. And I do have a link that I'll put underneath the description on this video. I also am hosting the event through my Facebook. I did not want to set up another Facebook account because I have one for JWall and I have one for mine. And I thought that was just gonna to be too much to try to keep up with more than that. So I will also put my Facebook group. You do not have to join any of my events to be in my Facebook group. That is just for, for you to put your projects on um, because I obviously cannot see your projects on YouTube. And so that's why I do that on Facebook. So that's one of the events. And then the other event is going to be a Josephine Wall event that I am hosting with Angie. And that is going to be in April and May. This will be our second year of hosting that event. You will need a Josephine Wall canvas. You can either have a diamond painting or you can have a converted cross stitch or you can even have a cross stitch on that one if you would like. You do not have to finish your project. You can also have one that you worked on last year. And that's coming up. We haven't really had um, much out on that one yet because it's still really early and I've been so focused on the paint gym event. So in March, I will definitely start adding more information on that one. So um, you're welcome to join that one as well. Um, the next one is from Elizabeth Warman. Says, hi Debbie, good morning from Southern California. She's glad my husband is feeling better. She's had bruised ribs twice. She broke two once. Um, Herschel, her 10 year old Doxy Beagle says hi to Molly. She has not seen Barbie, but she's heard it's a very good movie. And then she has been um, feeling really bad. So she did have an MRI. Um, and so she is trying to stop shopping online. Um, she also has been working on a kit and then she had to stop because she was in so much pain. And so I totally get that. Um, let's see. And then she said they did go out to eat. She's going to stop um, because her leg was giving her some pain. So I do hope that you are feeling better and you're feeling better sooner rather than later. I know you've been dealing with a lot of that lately. And I do 
I feel bad for you. I know that you're going through a lot. I know that a lot of you are. And just know that I am thinking of you guys. And I'm older. I will admit that I'm older. So I know what it's like to be in a lot of pain for any amount of time. But I also know too, and it's not just like physical pain. I know too that a lot of us are suffering for other reasons and I do feel for you on that too that I am here for you guys and I hope that I bring a little joy to you when I am working on my kits and you feel that you can work on yours too and you're not alone in diamond painting or just sitting there and doing nothing sometimes I will just stretch out have my headphones on and I will listen to other whip and chats and I really enjoy doing that and it just really calms me and I'm able to just do nothing and so that is perfectly fine too so I hope that I do bring a little bit of joy to you I'm getting to where I may finish this section, but I may have to stop and get my other drills that I am out of for the crescent moon. I'm not sure how long I've been talking either. I've had to stop and start a couple of times. And now my heat's come on. I try to keep the door closed because the furnace is right outside my room but Molly my collie is going in and out of the door and she can't just slither through she has to open the door bust it wide open and then she goes to the other room so now the door is open and it's very loud I do apologize for that that's the only I shouldn't say that it's a downside of also being in the basement. Um, let's see. That one, I finished that one in chats. We're getting closer, I believe, to being caught up on the, on all of my comments here. to stop here because again I don't know how long that this has been may I don't think it's been an hour because I'm gonna have to do some editing on this um, but I hope that you enjoyed my video today and hope that you have a great rest of your week if you're watching this on Saturday hope your weekend it goes off to a nice start to the upcoming week for next week I have a video coming out on Monday and that's going to be an unboxing and then I have my normal whip and tat on Tuesday where I'll go over live events and then on Thursday I have a kitting up of my paint jam that I really don't need to kit anything else up but I do have room for to get up a pet gym so I'll be doing that so that's something that you um, can look forward to for the week also if you liked this whip and chat I will put underneath a playlist for the whip and chats for that I've done for this project and for my massive cross stitch and that way you will have something to listen to throughout the week if you um, if you have not listened to all of those Hope you have a great rest of your day, and until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.